I was just happily looking at the water and I've just looked behind me and I feel very watched. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the great outdoors. Uh, today I am out for just a, a little bit of a wander, some fresh air and exercise. I'm in a place called Cavendish near Clare in Suffolk. Um, I had reason to go to Long Melford first thing this morning. So um, I've uh, stopped off and we're just having a wander. This is um, another part of the Stour, the River Stour here. And um, to be honest, I haven't got very far at all yet. And I've just happened across this bit of water that Andrew will always tell you, running water is my love. Um, Firstly, so I've pretty much just been spending a little while here um, enjoying the noise and the little birds and the sheep, my little friends. Oh, they're coming again. They're coming to see me again. There's my little sheepy friends. So, um, yeah, I've just been uh, having a little enjoy and sit. I've just brought a, brought a drink and a snack with me today not expecting to go on any major hike just to um, spend a little time outside perhaps de-stress a little bit so because luckily I've taken a day's holiday from work today so I'm uh, currently child free and just having a bit of quiet time it's good for us sometimes so I'll show you along where I go and um, hopefully you enjoy it. See you later. I think I'm getting some friends. Hello. Anything interesting? What happened? Nothing interesting. Just some smelly boots. They're very soft, aren't you? They're so funny. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Funny little walkway alongside the road here, a few feet up off the ground, but keeps you up out of the traffic, so that's good for me. After I got off my little high walkway, a few minutes walking down just the verge on the side of the road, after that Essex sign. It wasn't busy, I only saw a couple of cars, so that wasn't a problem. And now we're off back down the side of some farmer's fields. There's some extremely high straw bales. I have 
ruining my fan. They knew I was coming, I think. Oh well. I've already run into what, um, particularly for women hikers, is an issue. It's a secluded enough spot for a wee. At the moment, I can still see buildings, so I'll just have to get a shift on, I think. I am amazed though. I'm really quite warm. We are, I think, the 11th of November. It's 15 degrees. That's not normal temperature. Not knocking it, but it's just strange now. It's lovely out here. I still want to go back to that water. It's like a magnet to me. Oh God, a pigeon just flew out the bush at me. Scared the b****s at me. And because I was paying so much attention to the bird, I nearly fell in a ditch. Andrew would be pissing himself if he were here. He missed it. <laughs> Cute little tiny crop of trees. It's not, it's not a big area. Between two lots of farmland. I'm going to have a nose. Because you never know. It might be campable. Let's have a look on the map, see what kind of area it is when we get home. But I reckon you could, you could tuck yourself away down here. Even more so, possibly down here. Little spot looks pretty flat. And if you can see it, it's a, a cool, like, tartan pattern across the field. Around our way, you don't generally see a lot of these willow trees. But today I've seen loads. Lovely how they sway. In the breeze. Oh, nearly stepped in a giant paddle. Look where you're going rather than at the camera. Those ripples from a big old fish. There you go. I currently feel like I'm going into someone's garden, but I did suggest it was this way. What a stunning garden they've got. I just stopped and was nosing at uh, 
a lovely big pond in someone's front garden a minute ago and typically that was the moment the uh, the lady decided to drive home but uh, luckily she was very very pleasant and uh, stopped and had a chat lovely dragonflies and things skitting about in the pond very friendly lady she's nice she's pointed me out a nice coffee shop to go to I'm sure I'll have to try it's out in the fields again over there in the distance keep the camera pointed this way because I'm right next to a school and they're out in the playground but lovely green area there's a cool play park right here a public one not not in the school but it's right outside the school if you've got kids walking with you And if you have as well, so just use this bin here. Five bells. Three cats. Looks like you could very much get yourself a pint or whatever your drink is and watch the kids while they play at the park. Now we are walking up to a very large church. This is St Mary, St Mary the Virgin, it's a Cavendish church, so I'm not far from where I parked now, very big building. Weird walking up the centre aisle of a church. I always think about getting married. It's nice, they've got a free community pantry in the corner of the church if anyone's from this area and in need of something or if you're able to donate something to their pantry, please do. Those Perspex doors on the outside really helps keep the warmth in.
This is the rather impressive Holy Trinity Church in Long Melford. It's had a building here for a thousand years apparently. Although most of the building was built in the 1500s. And apparently the um, original tower burnt down, was replaced and apparently no one liked the structure that was put there in, in its place so the current one was built around the original and some medieval stained glass work here still exists let's see if we can go in and have a look
could have oh, oh. Oh, oh. model showing the different versions of the tower saying that uh, the present building was finished in 1484 the original tower was destroyed by lightning in 1710 Georgian towers completed 1725 and the present tower built in 1903 but the 1725 tower remains within the present tower Lots of lovely handmade wreaths by the children locally, ready for remembrance at the weekend. So we walk out of the building and walked a bit further down. We go through into the Lady Chapel. Apparently Long Melford was almost the only parish church in the country that has never had an abbey, um, but they have a separate lady chapel. I'll be honest, I've never heard of a lady chapel. I'll be looking it up when I get home, see what it's about. Churches aren't everyone's cup of tea, but I just think the, the buildings can be quite beautiful. Right, well, I'm in uh, the village along Melford now, just across the road from um, the church, Holy Trinity Church. There's actually um, Melford Hall as well. Uh, which is the National Trust site, which seems to have some beautiful grounds. Um, you can go in the building um, and look around. Um, there was actually, um, last week though, three unexploded bombs discovered in the grounds, which unfortunately uh, halted a fireworks big display they'd planned for the weekend um, until they've had time to search the grounds for um, possible other bombs um, on site um, so hopefully it will be open again properly soon because it seems like a lovely place up there if you're members um, and uh, I'm gonna go and find myself a, uh, a little coffee um, in the village so thanks again for coming with us um, it's a shame Andrew wasn't with us today but um, 
perhaps I'll bring him back here another day um, for a wander around. But I've really enjoyed the area, it's beautiful, some lovely villages and the countryside. Um, again, the, the River Stour is, is lovely. We, we go to the River Stour near a home quite often, um, but it's lovely to see another part of it today. Um, as I say, please do like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.